Okay, so hello again everyone. So last time we discussed about the regression analysis or regression model and we utilize Excel for uh, calculating or determining your regression model. Okay, now let's have the estimating the uh, variance of your regression model. So the error of sum of square, the SSE, is as equal to the summation of the squared of your residual and the residual is just equal to the uh, uh, your actual wild value minus your predicted and it can be shown that the expected value of the error of sum of squares which is your uh, expected SSE is equal to this one n minus 2 sigma squared so calculating the sigma squared this is just your SSE over n minus 2. The n minus 2 will be the degrees of freedom for your uh, SSE calculation. So this is the unbiased estimator. So SSE can be easily computed using this formula, the SST minus beta 1 or beta 1, beta 1 hat SXY. So SST is just this value, the uh, square or the sum of the square of your y value minus your uh, mean value for y. So this is the total sum of square of the response variable y. Okay, now, so the expected value for the slope is just your slope, which is the unbiased, and the variance for uh, the slope calculation is equal to this one, the sigma square over your SS, SXX. So for the intercept, the expected value is just equal to your intercept value and the variance is just this formula. So pag tinanong yung variance, utilize this formula. Okay, now, in linear regression calculation, basically, we always want to test uh, the linearity or the agreement of this uh, model with whatever prediction you want to State. So basically, you want to know if the regression model is uh, accurate or not, or correct, or uh, this follows a regression model. So basically, the fourth step, or the seventh step, sorry, the seventh step for hypothesis testing is that first you determine yung an variable. So basically, for this one is the slope. Then we have the uh, null hypothesis, the alternative hypothesis, the uh, statistical test, which is for this case, we'll use the t test. Ito the formula no t test. So, this one is that your slope value beta 1 is equal to your uh, beta 1 not. And the alternative is not equal to, meaning hindi siya nagpa follow ng uh, predicted value mo. Okay? So, the statistical test could be further simplified by substituting yung baba ito yung denominator ng SE ng beta 1. And the rejection is that when your T value, absolute T value is greater than your T alpha over 2 N minus 1. This is the degree of freedom, yung N minus 2. N minus N is the number of uh, observation. Okay, for the intercept, ganun din. Kaya lang ang kaibahan ay yung formula for the intercept. So, you will use this uh, t, t statistic or the statistical test for uh, the intercept. So, ganun din siya. You can, you can substitute this with your SE beta 0. Okay? Then, we'll reject when it the T value or the T calculated is greater than the T critical. Okay? Uh, an important uh, special case of the hypothesis is using this equation. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Uh, for this case, yung null hypothesis mo is that the regression or the, the intercept of your model is equal to zero. Meaning, there's no linear, uh, linear regression or the data is none linear or will not follow the linear model. So this hypothesis relate to the significance of regression. Failure to reject your HO equivalent conclude that there's no linear relationship between your X and your Y value. 
So, sample. So, gawin din natin dun sa uh, data ng oxygen, yung kinumpit natin. So, last time, uh, say we will utilize the uh, slope. This is for the slope testing. So, ang null hypothesis is that your slope for the regression is equal to zero. Then, your H1 is not equal to zero, the alternative hypothesis. We use the alpha 0 0.01 and uh, we have this data. Na-compute natin to tama dun sa Excel. So, ito yung coefficient, ito yung n, ito yung SXX, ito yung variance. So, pasok nyo lang siya dito sa table na to and you obtain 11.35. So, balikan ko lang yung Excel calculation natin. Nasaan siya? So, sa Excel calculation, ito yung intercept. Mm, bali. Uh, variance is 1.18. Ito, ito yung variance. Yung S, 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 E, I, S, S, E, 0 0.68. So, that will be SXX. SXX. 0 0.68. Sige, dito tayo. Ito yung SSE. SSE. Yung SSX, ah, pwede nyo namang compute yung SSX sa data ninyo. Okay? So, sa calculator. So, Upon calculation, this is 11.35. So, lalabas din siya doon. Actually, hindi mo na kailangan compute din. Lalabas siya, nasan siya dito? T. Ito, ito yan. Yung sa slope. Slope nung, ano ba, yung 11.32 na value. Or doon sa minitab, ito siya, 11.35 na value. Yung p-value. Or you can use the p-value. Ito yung p-value ng yung calculation. Pero, uh, you need to change the alpha. Ha? Kailangan palitan nyo yung alpha dito, yung confidence level. Kasi yung confidence level natin ay 0 0.01. So, dapat 0.99 siya. So, using that confidence level, so, kukumpitin nyo or didetermine nyo dun sa t-table. Ito yun, 0 0.005. Tapos yung degrees of freedom n minus 2, 18. So, that's 2.88. So, please check your t-table. Okay, so from this uh, calculation, we see that this value is greater than, so we'll reject the null hypothesis. Meaning, there's a strong evidence that uh, there's a linear regression between the uh, yung, yung x natin dito. Balikan natin ha. Yung X natin ay uh, hydro, hydrocarbon level has a linear regression uh, or uh, linearly yung kanyang effect dun sa purity. And uh, using the p-value dun sa 11, 11.35, so ito yung approximate value or approximately zero, then uh, we can say that we reject the null hypothesis. Ayan yung conclusion. Okay, now, for the analysis of variance naman, so pag analysis of variance, you just follow this formula or simplified siya, SST mine equals to SSR plus SSE. SSE is the error, SSR is the regression sum of pair, SST is the total corrected sum. So, ito yung SST, so uh, value minus your, sorry, Value minus your mean value squared. Ito ay predicted minus the mean squared. And this one is the residual squared. Okay, residual lang yan. Okay. Now, for the analysis of variance, so basically, pag variance yung i-compare natin, we're comparing uh, variances. So this is just a ratio. So ito yung variance ng taas. Ito yung variance ng baba. So SSR over 1, SSE over N minus 2. Yung SSR... Ito ay yung sa regression model, which is we're uh, modeling the X and Y model. Kaya ang degrees of freedom niya ay 1 kasi dalawa yung variable, so 2 minus 1. Kaya 1 siya. Ito yung MSR. MS, 
or mean of square of the residual. Ito naman, mean of square of error. So, ito yung SSE over the degrees of freedom ng uh, data or within the data set. Minus 2 kasi uh, we need to have 2 uh, two set of data to have this uh, model working. Okay? Okay. Analysis of variance approach to test. So, ito yung table natin na ibibigay sa inyo. So, we have the regression, the error, the SST. And actually, pwede nyo yung uh, computed. Or pwede i-fill nyo yung table. So, yung degrees of freedom, 1, n minus 2. Ito, sum nyo lang. N, n minus 2 plus 1. So, n minus 1. Ito, SSR, SSE. So, usually, ibibigay itong value na to Computin nyo yung SST. Or pwede nyo computein din yan. Pwede nyo blanko lahat. Okay? Sa, sa exam. Then, MSR, MSE, ratio lang. SSR over 1, MSR. SSE over N minus 2, MSE. Then, yung F value is that uh, you get the ratio of the MSR over MSE. Actually, meron na din siya dun sa Excel file. Okay? So, let's have this example. Again, yung purity, yung same problem. We will use the analysis of variance approach to test the significance for the oxygen purity with respect to the high hydrocarbon content. Recall that SST, ito yung mga data natin, nakuha. So, comp computing yung SSR, SSE, nakuha to. Computing yung MSR, uh, SSR over 1, S M MSR, so divide by 1. Itong 21 divide by 18, so that's one point. Eight. So, makumpute niyo yung F value is 128.86. Compare this value with uh, the data from your F table. May F table kayo, di ba? Or calculate for the P value. And sobrang baba nito. So, therefore, we can conclude that there's a regression or there's a relationship between your data. Okay, now, for confidence interval naman, on the slope and intercept, so just follow this formula. So, slope, so kukumpitin nyo lang lahat tong mga data na to. So, yan lang yun. This is for the uh, intercept, this is for the slope. So, two side to ha. Pwede din yung uh, one side. Yung, yung, uh, usually, two sides naman siya. So, for, for the oxygen purity, so input lang lahat yung, yung data. Pasok nyo lang dyan. Then you have the uh, the confidence interval. So, what is the interpretation? This confidence interval does not include zero. So, there is strong evidence that the slope is not zero. The confidence interval is reasonably narrow because the error variance is fairly small. Pag may, may value dito na zero, meaning your regression model is not... Uh, Okay. Okay? Hindi siya. So. Sorry for that. Okay, now. Now, uh, confidence interval of the mean response. So, mean response, you just apply this formula. So, ganun lang yan. Huh? So, uh, I think you just apply all the formula. Pag ayun yung tinanong. So, given naman yung formula. So, Compute nyo lang yung confidence interval pasok and that will provide you the mean value of your y for the confidence interval. Now, for predicting future observation, so basically this is your plus one, di ba? Yung, yung next uh, data set. So, using this formula, magpipredict nyo yung value ng uh, next observation. So, basically... Uh, this one, sabi dito to illustrate the construction, construction of prediction. Suppose we reduce the data from the 11-1 example using equation 11-14 and recalling from equation that your y sub is 89.23. We find the prediction interval for this value, yung, yung y. Huh? Na yan is between 86.83 to 91.63 value. So, this is a reasonable value. So, the adequacy of the regression model, fitting a regression model, requires this 
assumption. Error are uncorrelated random variable with mean 0. Errors have constant variance and errors be normally distributed. And the analysis should always be uh, valid for your assumption. So may residual tayo, you know the calculation of the residual. And usually we do residual plot. So may mga pattern tayo ng residual plot. And ang gusto nating pattern ay yung A. Kasi ito yung satisfactory. Back siya. So meaning randomize yung uh, data ninyo. Okay? While for this case, hindi na ito nagpa-follow ng linear model. So we call this panel, we call this double bow, and this one is non-linear. So example, we, we palat the residual for your... Oxygen, so nakuha na natin yan, di ba? So, ito yung usual, residual. Dapat ganito yung uh, cumulative normal probability. Then, ito yung plot. So, makikita nyo, box siya. So, meaning, linear yung regression. Okay? Um, we'll stop here for part 2. So, may part 3 pa siya. Medyo mahaba yung, yung discussion ito. But, uh, hopefully, your your Learning. So try to, to do the regression analysis with Excel.